In this video, I will demonstrate the Create Item Dependencies Report tool that will create a report on the dependencies for a service or a web map. This can be helpful to see what web maps and applications will be affected by making changes or deleting a particular item. This tool can create a report for a service, which will report which web maps and web applications are consuming the service. And it can also be executed on a web map, which will report which web applications are consuming that web map. The tool can be executed for ArcGIS Enterprise or ArcGIS Online. So to give a quick example of this, I'll just open up the tool. This can be run in ArcGIS Pro. Uh, there's just several parameters you need to specify here. The first one is either your ArcGIS Online or portal URL. So here I'll go ahead and enter in my portal URL in this example. And then an administrative username for my portal. Currently, Active Directory and built-in accounts are supported. Unfortunately, SAML is not supported for this. Once I have my admin username and password, some validation will occur. And then we'll go ahead and list all the users that can own content. So here I can actually select multiple users if I like using this drop down at the top, or I can select an individual one. I'll just choose one for this example, the portal admin account, and then the content type. So I have two choices, as I mentioned before, can either choose services to list or web maps. I'll choose services, and this will list all the users' services that they have. So clicking the drop down again, I can choose multiple. I'll choose these two as a test and go ahead and add these services to the list here. And then I have the option to create a report for this. So I can go ahead and either browse for a location or just enter this in very quickly. Just put it on my temp drive, creating a CSV called a report.csv. Now I can go ahead and execute this tool. What it will do first is it will iterate through all users that can own content. Once it iterates through them, it'll grab all their items. And once it has all the items of all the users that can own content, it'll go through and check each web map and application that is using them, that's using the services that you selected and I'll go ahead and report these out for you. So let's go ahead and take a look at the port that was generated from this. I'm just gonna go ahead and open this up in Excel and just format that, format this so we can see it more clearly. So here it's gonna list the service and the ID of the service as well as the web map that it was found in. So we can see that this service was found in this web map and it provides a web map ID. And it also provides any applications that that web map may be used in. So it looks like this web map was also used in a application, an instant application. And it will repeat this if it's found in multiple applications or web maps. So here we can see it's the same web map, but that web map is used in another application. And a third time looks like it's being used in a dashboard. The other one we can see It'll then start iterating through the other service. And here we can see this is also used in an application. It looks like an experience builder application and a dashboard as well. So hopefully you find this tool very helpful. Uh, if you ever uh, want to have a second guess about whether you should delete an item, such as a service or web map, definitely use this tool to be sure that you're not going to affect anybody's work downstream. Thank you.